Law of the Bedroom, number 16. Maintain a small element of secrecy about your life and your plans for living out your dreams. I like this one. This is one of my favorite. Maintain a small element of secrecy about your life and your plans for living out your dreams. Here's why and here's how. I say this only because women love mystery, spontaneity, surprise, and adventure. If you keep your plans for you and her to yourself year after year and only let her see and experience them with you in your relationship with her, your gal will find a million ways to fall in love with you all over again because every event you plan, every move you make, every gift you give, and every word you say will always be a surprise and filled with spontaneity and adventure. What's more, tell no one else about your plans on improving yourself with this information. And I'm talking about laws of the bedroom, per se. Only let people notice how confident you've become. Only let your gal notice what a better lover you've become. Only let your gal notice how much more loving you've become. If we have to talk about it, then we ain't doing it. When planning your night out, plan it, hush up, and do it. Don't talk about it. Decide with her if she would like to have input on the plans. You know, do ask, hey, where do you want to go tonight? Here, here, or here? Or if she'd like you to take the lead and decide for the two of you, do so swiftly. She's testing you subconsciously, looking for leadership. Make your plans. Decide intelligently, yet quickly and act. Start having fun. Go out, do, dance, and get into her every minute you're with her. Get into having fun with her all night long, and then take her home and mm, cuddle with her and make good, sweet love. And yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Radiate confidence, charisma, true warmth, and charm that women find so irresistibly attractive. Work on developing your own personal charisma through music, reading magazines, reading articles online, watching videos, observing others you admire, studying clothing styles in popular clothing catalogs, or on the web, or just absorb the world and become more of what you are. Just a little bit every day. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a lot of pressure on yourself to do this. Just a little every day. A little every day. Be light, humorous, and fun. Don't be too heavy. Women love a sense of humor. <laughs> Cultivate your own. Develop your own style of original humor. And always be able to you know, kind of poke fun at yourself in ways that she finds so cute and adorable every time. Your new attitude should soften everything you do. Honey, come here. Take a look at this. How would you like to do this activity or try this new restaurant? Be nice, be kind, be sweet, be soft-spoken. Your new attitude should soften everything you do. Your attitude should also be one of abundance. Abundance and not scarcity. You're laid back in the decisions you make, relaxed in the way you operate. You think from an attitude of abundance and not scarcity. Keep that in mind. And then lastly, be interested in her and she'll be interested in you all the time. Hey, what you working on? Hey, how was your day? Hey, what happened? Hey, tell me about that. Show interest. She'll do the same back at you.